Hey guys, what's up? My name is Erica Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this super duper cute swoop bun hairstyle. Threw some curls in it. It was super easy and quick and I used some clip-ins from Amazing Beauty Hair. I'll have them linked down below. But without further ado, let's get right on into it. So first things first, I just want to apologize for the quality of this audio. I may sound really congested and that's because I am, I have been so sick for the past couple of days yeah c-o-v-i-d got me y'all like i've been down and out but i wanted to get this video out for you guys so yeah i'm sorry but um to start off with this i'm just using this hot comb i feel like i've showed this in a video previously it is from amazon it is my favorite hot comb it works well for my wigs it works well on my natural hair and I'm just using this to kind of get my roots a little bit so that the edges of my ponytail are nice and smooth and we don't have too much like curling up going on when I slick the ponytail back because I really don't want to use too much gel. Now I am sectioning out the piece of hair that I would like to be my swoop. Some people like really deep parted swoops. I honestly prefer to use the least amount of hair possible because it doesn't really need to be too thick to swoop it over and you guys will see what I mean by that. I prefer most of my hair to be swooped back up into the ponytail so I'm really only sectioning out just enough to cover the clip-in that I'm going to add in so yeah you'll see. So now I'm just taking a curling iron and I'm bumping my bangs that I've grown out as you guys can see they are getting pretty long which is good and the brinkage towards the front of my hair is growing out I can't wait to get a trim but like I said I've been sick so I can't make an appointment yet so this is what my hair is looking like in the front it's not too bad but I feel like if I go get my hair cut it's they're gonna give me like a mushroom cut like based on the way that my hair is broken in the front but I don't know, we shall see. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use my natural hair bang for this or add a little more fullness, but you know me, I'm always gonna add a little more fullness. This is when I started to feel myself. I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. So I'm taking this wax stick and I'm just putting this on my edges because this is gonna be the key to slicking the hair back and making it look really, really good. Then I'm taking the hot comb again on the edges just making sure it's nice and slick and my hot comb is really not that hot i don't know why so much smoke is coming off of it but i promise i only put it on like 350 like i don't even be putting it up that high but yeah this is what it looks like as of now my hair is looking so good like it's growing out so well i'm so happy with it now we are going to part the bang in half this is where we're going to apply that two clip clip in as you guys can see and I'm just gonna snap it into place and see what it's looking like I really don't need too too much hair as you guys can see once it's all slicked back and stuff like it's, it's gonna look fine so I'm just clipping that away to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some curls in it and see how those look And so that it lasts all day, I'm going to go ahead and drop it into my hand and use a little flat clip to pin curl it and let it cool in that position while I curl the other piece.
Now this part is the easy part. I'm going to take my clip-ins and I'm going to add some fullness to the ponytail so that we can make a cute little curly bun situation. I feel like I've done a video on how to do a ponytail with clip-ins. If I recall, I think I've done one. But yeah, it's so, so easy. You just part little sections and go through and add clips all around the perimeter of the hair. And you want to make sure on the back side of the hair that you're putting like the clip-ins in upside down, as you guys can see, so that your hair will cover it and it'll blend nicely. Then I'm just using this really hard brush to brush in that wax stick, just kind of smooth everything together. I like using the wax stick for this because it gives my hair a little bit of shine so that it blends with the clip-ins a little bit. And it also keeps my hair nice and smooth without making it like hard. So I don't have to use like too much hairspray. Then I'm gonna do my edges. I'm using the Edge Booster Edge Control it's like looking a little white because I have makeup on and it's kind of like mixing with my makeup but you guys know I do my edges every video same old thing Now look how sleek that is. Come on now. And ignore the ponytail. It's just going to be a bun, so it doesn't need to blend that well. But if you were going to do an actual ponytail, you would need to add way more hair than I added. But yeah, I'm just kind of going to do the bun how I do it, and you guys will see. So I'm really just wrapping the hair around and trying to hide my natural hair as much as possible and I'm just leaving out a little bit of curly pieces to kind of match the bang as you guys can see. And that's it, that's all. Okay you guys, so this is the final look. I'm okay with how this turned out. I think the next time I try this style I will put more hair in the bun just so that it kind of looks a little bit more thick like the bang is really really thick and I feel like the bun isn't as thick but I think it looks really really natural and honestly I feel like what would fix that is me cutting the bang a little bit because it is quite long these clip-ins are 18 inches but I don't want to cut them I should cut them but I really don't want to cut them so maybe in the next video that I do with this I will cut them but yeah for now I'm gonna leave them at this length but I think that the bang would look really cute if it was like chin length now it's a little bit too long so I kind of just tucked it behind my ear but I do like how the swoop looks and having hair in my face all day does get on my nerves so I do like the option of being able to kind of just tuck it and have the little curl hanging right here but I do wish I would have added a little bit more hair to the bun so that I could have threw some more curls in it but honestly this one little piece right here is fine for a little pizzazz and this is a super quick and easy hairstyle let me know if you guys like it by giving this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what hairstyles you guys want me to try next i feel like updos are low-key kind of my thing i feel like they really show up your face really well so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on that post notification so that you don't miss my next upload because of course i have more content coming for you guys so yeah that is all i will see all of you beautiful people in my next one bye